Hi, my name's Sue. I work here at the sewing studio and I'd like to show you the Janome Sewist 740. It's an excellent mid-range machine from Janome. So I'll start by showing you how to wind a bobbin. Everything is numbered on the machine, which makes life really easy. And there's a diagram here to show you how to wind your bobbin. So literally we go in this little button here. And that's what puts the tension on and you'll know because you've got a little bit of resistance. So we will get our bobbin. And I like to pop it up through the hole. Up there. And we pop that on there, nice and easy. You just flick that to the right and you can see the screen has changed. And now because I've got the stop start button working, I can just do that. And then I will just snip that off. And off we go. So you can just do it as much as you want and then we can stop, just push that back over and it goes straight back into your sewing mode. We can do that. To pop your bobbin in, it's P for perfect. Drop that in there. And there's a little tiny nick there. Make sure you take it into that little nick, under there and around, and off it goes. And now to thread it, I'm going to start by doing our needle down and our needle up, because that will line your needle up for your needle threader. And we do one, two, three, four, and down. Nice and easy. Do you know me? Very good for making it very clear where your threads need to go. And then we just have a funny little bippy bit here, I always call it. You just want to get your thread in there because that's what holds your thread nice and close to the needle and it will affect your stitching if you miss that bit out. Now we're going to do the needle threader. So. We bring that down gently, we tuck that under there, under there and over this little metal thing, hold it loosely and just ease that up and you can see it's pulled the thread through. I've got a little loop there, I can just grab the loop and hey presto, that goes under there, that goes under there and we're ready to sew. We've got 01 which is our stitch there. So we will just stitch there, just put it on a medium speed. I can slow it right down. And conversely, okay, I'm going to put the needle in the work. I can lift my presser foot to turn the corner. I'm going to take my needle out because this time we're going to change the stitch and we're going to do a zigzag. So when I press that, if you watch the screen, everything changes. So it does it for you. I can change the stitch width and the stitch length here. And I can go as big as seven millimeters and as big as five millimetres. Sorry, slow it down a bit. And we'll turn the corner. So that's the biggest we can do on this machine. So it's a maximum stitch width of seven millimetres. If I take the needle out, and what we'll do now, because one is naturally contrary, we'll take the width down to three and a half, and we're going to take our stitch length really low now. I'm going to take it down to 0.8 and that will give us, bring our stitches together, so that will give us a satin stitch effect. Now, depending on your fabric and your threads, what setting will work. And you can see that on this fabric, I could actually bring that much closer together. So if I take that down again, And now you can see we're really getting something much closer to a zigzag. And the nice thing is that if that is a setting you know you're going to keep using, what I used to say to people, write it on a piece of paper, but now what most people do is they take a picture on their phone. 
Um, so that's a really good reference for you if you need to go back. Much easier than on a dial where you can't quite remember if it was two and a half, two and a quarter or whatever. So that's really nice and accurate. And you can see we've got our utility stitches here. We've got like an overcast stitch. We've got our lightning stitch for our lightweight stretch fabrics. We've got a triple straight stitch for our stretch fabrics. We've got a blind hem. We've got a blanket stitch. We've got a, a herringbone stitch, um, which can be used decorative, but can be used on around neck facings and things. And you've got a few stitches here. Now they're little hidden detail here is the extra stitches. The little card on board card gives you your more decorative stitches. So you've got another buttonhole, free motion setting. You've got an eyelet, which is always handy. You've got another little blanket stitch. So you've got options there and you've got some lovely fancy stitches here. This, that looks pretty stitched out, quite art deco-y really. And little stars and down here. So you've not got hundreds of stitches, but you've got enough to play with. So if you want to make some plain napkins or you want to make some gingham pyjamas, you've got some stitches there. You can dolly up the top of the pocket or round the cuffs. It's a good all round machine. You can do free motion. You can drop the feed dogs very easily. It's a little slider on the back. Um, it's just a really good package. So do have a look at it on the website. All the details are there and if you've got any questions, give us a call. We're happy to help.